Hi, so our latest set of protocols that we've received from the state of New Hampshire with regards to COVID-19, um, their guidance is that if we need to perform any aerosol generating procedures on a suspected or a confirmed COVID-19 patient, that we should have a drape in place to keep the aerosols inside away from our providers. Uh, remember that this is a suspected or a confirmed COVID-19 patient, so you should be wearing an N95 mask, goggles, or a face shield, as well as a gown. Um, and then we'll place this, uh, this drape over the patient in order to keep those aerosols uh, next to the patient rather than into the back of the ambulance. Uh, it's important to note that because this is plastic and it's covering the patient's head, they must be on oxygen. Uh, they either need to be on a non-rebreather, nasal cannula, CPAP, BBM, intubated, uh, but there has to be outside oxygen being piped into this tent uh, in order to keep the environment um, oxygenated for the patient. The entire system is modular. Uh, it's made out of PVC pipe. Um, it packs down pretty small and can be rapidly and fairly easily deployed over your patient should they need an aerosol generating procedure. Um, it allows for our providers to access from this side if you need to be on the patient's left or right, you can just lift up the drape. If you're performing an intubation or another airway maneuver, you can be right underneath, um, putting your gloved hands up underneath and you're able to do your intubation or manage the airway as needed with a bag valve mask and that will keep the aerosols inside. Uh, next, we'll show you how this actually all comes together. All of the parts are stored in the cabinet with the spare run box up above where the first in bag and oxygen kits um, are located. So next, we'll show you how to put this together and deploy it. Basically, it's a color-coded PVC uh, frame. So the first thing we do, retrieve it uh, from the cabinet. Go ahead and break off the shower curtain liner away from it and break open your PVC frame. Consists of two upright arms, two legs, which will sit under the stretcher, and two cross pieces. Everything is color coded as to how the pieces go together. So blue to blue, when we just plug it in, we have another blue and another blue, we plug those in. That's our base. So once you get the frame seated underneath the patient, you then take the green to green, plug that in. We take yellow to yellow, plug that in, and then our cross piece is blue to blue. Make sure everything's snug. Now our frame is assembled. Now we just take our shower curtain liner, Drapes out and over the patient. Then we just fasten it with these binder clips onto the frame here and here, and then also so onto our frame rails or our railing here and again over here. And that creates a nice tent over the patient's head. The caveat to this is you have to make sure that the patient is on oxygen of some sort, uh, whether it be a nebulizer, a nasal cannula running at seven liters a minute, um, or a bag valve mask. Um, this way here, we're now able to, as the provider, we can get Underneath the drape, we can perform an airway maneuver, whether it be intubating the patient, whether it be ventilating with a bag valve mask, uh, whether it be giving them a nebulizer, putting the neb on. Um, and then this also, because of the way it sits, if they're in distress, we can sit.